Oh, it's trying to fly though. It is trying to fly. But it doesn't make it far. It doesn't make it far. Oh, I need to get after it actually. I need to get over here. Just hope that it won't kill me or try and attack me. Whoa. Yeah, that's a creeper. Yeah, that's a creeper. Come on, buddy. Die. Ah, these mobs are making it impossible. It's flying towards me. Did we get it? Die! You guys are so... Nope, it's still alive. It's still alive. It's still alive. Hold on, I need to eat. It's down in the ravine. Uh, I don't like the look of that. It's right here. It's right here. It's in the actual ravine. <laughs> Wait, did we? Nope, it's still alive. It's still alive. It's still alive. I repeat, still alive. Still kicking. Come on, buddy. Die already. But as you can see, it's not fighting back very much. So that is good. It's just me having to keep up with it and hope that it doesn't uh, breach to the to the overworld. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's making it quite far. It's just because, you see, each time I shoot it, it moves a little bit. So, yeah, that is an issue. And we got it. We just got it. Okay. That is a lot of blocks. Uh, very annoying as well. It, is, it does break quite a few blocks, as you can see. But that's fine. Okay, so this is a female dragon. A little bit annoying. Um... But yeah, that's that's fine. It is is that a red one? I can't tell. It looks kind of brownish. Eh? Its texture goes dark as well. When um when you kill it, it looks kind of doesn't look like the other one. Now what I want to do here is just to get rid of these water sources here just so that I can keep an eye on what it drops and what it doesn't because they do have a chance of dropping more than one egg okay there we go I did want some dragon blood but you know what That's, just forget that I'm not gonna be able to make a dragon forge anyways when the time is right for that I will go hunt for more of these and then I can get more I can get more dragon blood that way when I'm not looking for eggs let me think about this for what I should do all right, I have decided that I'm not going to take any dragon blood. Not now, that can wait till another time when that is actually... Or when I find a male dragon, I guess, then I can take the blood. But yeah, not now. Not now, we're just gonna get the scales and whatever this thing drops. Oh, here it is. And all the bones. Honestly, ooh, that is not a red egg this time. A bronze egg, nice. I like the color, I like the color. Especially of the scales as well. Uh, ooh, that could be interesting. I also know that we will need the scales to make these uh, block of dragon scales, which we will need in the actual dragon forge itself. So we will need the scale as well. So if we had taken the blood, well, we wouldn't have gotten that many scales. So that is pretty epic. Let me just store this stuff in here. We got another fire dragon heart. Nice. And wait, where, where did I... Uh... Where did I come from? Don't remember. Ah, here it is. Okay. I couldn't remember where we had come from. <laughs> All right. Um, again, this loot is not going to be great. I'm not going to take the ores right now. We will. I will either do that off camera or in the next Ice of Fire stream. Unless this creeper goes ahead and blows it all up. Yeah, not the best treasure here. It's mainly the ores that I will be after. But we will do that at another time. Let's head out of our poke hole. Or our attack hole or whatever we kind of want to call it over to hippogriff buck beak okay I, I don't know why I keep calling it that yeah I'm sorry anyways let me eat this and we will head on over to the next location which is the furthest one away I'm going to quickly sleep head on over there hope that I survived the journey put buck beak somewhere and hey I named him the right thing this time and uh yeah hope that this mission goes 
just as well. I have no idea. Hopefully it will. We will see. Anyways, I'll be right back. All right, so we are at the ice dragon lair. Now I'm. Ah! Yeah, that's uh, that's the thing that happens. Okay, that's just a hippogriff. Good. Okay. Hey, buddy. Ah, now that glitch happens again. Nope. Nope. We're good. We're good. Okay. This is just a hippogriff. Hopefully, the ice dragon is not following the hippogriff. Okay. Land. Thank you. Okay. So I have this box pre-set up from uh, since last time I was here. Uh, do that, do that, and do that. Okay. So, on the other side of this, I'm going to fly solo. Um, on the other side, there should be a hole that I went into. I'm pretty sure. I started digging down. I, I did this at night time. So, uh, <laughs> this might be a little bit tricky. I think I have to wait for night time, actually, to do this. And then I will be back and then I can actually try and see where I dug my hole. I know the coordinates for it, so if I need to dig a new hole, I will, and I can, because I know the coordinates, so yeah. Let me wait for night time. All right, it is now night time, and we can go ahead. This torch just basically reminded me that it is on this exact block that we need to dig on to get to where we want to, and then it is Y level 35, so we have to dig down a good 30 blocks. So how about we just dig in right here, to be honest, like so, and then cover it back up <laughs> right here. And then got to go down to Y level 35. And here we are. So we got to Y level 35. And then I just dug straight over to here. This is where I have been before, if you can already tell. And yeah, here is the place. This fire resistance potion is not gonna do me any good. Um, do I still have my... Oh yeah, up here. <laughs> this place is a little bit creepy and a little bit scary. Because monsters do spawn up here. And the last thing I want to happen is a creeper waking this thing up by an explosion or something. So, as you can see, I made a poke hole right here. Uh, okay. Right here, and it should, yep, right there. There it is. Right there. And as you can see, it is a female. So, yeah, we're gonna see how this goes. Let me just eat. Have my bow, have my arrows, have my everything. Yep, let's just Get straight to it, let's go. Three, two, one, attack. Let's do this. Let's get right to it. Hopefully it won't fly too much. Ooh, the sound is different, I like it. Okay, so I should actually, I uh, don't wanna call it too quickly. I don't wanna jump down there until I know. Wait, is it suffocating? Either it's burning or it's suffocating. I don't know which one, and I don't know what it's trying to hit right now, <laughs> or shoot at. I think it's suffocating. That is actually to our benefit here. No, no, more water ice is smelling. Oh, it's burning! It's burning! It's burning! Ooh, so fire aspect and uh, flame on the bow is actually useful here, I guess. If this is what is even killing it, I would assume so. But that's interesting. All right, it would make sense as well since it's an ice dragon. All right, keep shooting it, keep shooting it. We almost got it, I think. Almost got it. But yeah, this is actually pretty easy. Have, do we have it yet? Almost, I think. We should be there soon, hopefully. I don't know, I keep saying that, but we're not. <laughs> Just gonna keep shooting. Just keep shooting that wing. Can we shoot the hit? Oh, no, oh, there we go. Ah, can't shoot the hit, can't shoot the hit. It's a little bit out of range. So I think I'm actually going to uh, glide down over here. So I can hit it. See, it just goes back to sleep. <laughs> it's so weird. Like, I'm right here. It should be able to see me, but nope. It's just like, eh, I'm being shot at. I'm gonna go to sleep. Alright, kill 
die already. Da, don't come too close. Don't come too close. Get back. Get back. Die, please. Please. Die. If you're welcome to. If, no, you're welcome to. Please. Am I even hitting it? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> and we got it. We got it. I want those arrows back before they despawn. Whoa, this is a lot of blocks. Okay. Uh, let's just assess the situation real quick. Get over here. Okay. Well, I guess it's just to loot this thing. Not gonna get any dragon blood either. Off of this one. We'll do that another time. So let's see. Uh, here it is. Ooh. What do we have? What do we have? <gasps> oh, I thought that was two dragon eggs. <laughs> Wait, did we not get an egg? Oh, there it is. There it is. White dragon egg. Sweet. That is so cool. Right there. Gotta say, that is pretty sweet. And blue dragon scales, of course. Ice dragon flesh and ice dragon skull. That is very, very cool. Hey, zombie. Get out of here, boy. Get, get, eh. Also, this is going to be a lot of silver. It is going to be really nice. But yeah, that that is cool. Well, yeah, okay. Don't blow up, please. Okay, actually, you know what? We're done here. <laughs> We're done here. Oh, no. I can't get out. Can I get out? Can I get out, please? There we go. Nice. That was actually a very successful mission, I gotta say. Let's get back to Hippogriff. Let's get out of here. Let's get back to base. And we will take a look at the total stuff that we got and of course I'm not gonna end the episode till we have hatched them we're gonna hatch all three of them this episode and we will officially have dragons I'm a little bit sad that we didn't get any um, any male dragons I wished one of those fire dragons had been a male one so I could get dragon blood but also so I could have gotten potentially some mending armor oh that's not gonna go well there um, but you know it's it's what it is and Let's go home. We gotta go in this direction. Hopefully not get attacked by that dragon, because it's fast. I think. So yeah, head in this direction. Head home. And we will take a look at the total of what we got and hatch those dragons. Be right back. Alright. I know. I'm not home. Why? Because I found this very small glacier. <laughs> <laughs> yes, in the middle of the ocean. So I decided, hmm, because it's so small, maybe there's a chance there's something under it. Let me dig down in the middle and see what I find. So I did. Gliding down. Down, 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 down. There's caves to the left. I checked those, or some of them at least. And I checked to the right. We have another layer. I had not planned this at all. <laughs> but maybe, maybe, just maybe, this is a male dragon. If it is, I'm going to be super excited about that. So let's see if it is. I have not looked inside of here yet. Okay. Oh, we got a hole here. That's a male. Yes, that's a male. That's a male. Oh, I'm so excited about that. Yes, we can get blood. Nice. That's a male, which means the armor is going to be pretty amazing down there. Okay, 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 this is, this is exciting. All right, let's get right to it, shall we? Destroy these so we can have a clear sight and, uh... Yep, let's go. What? Oh, there, there we go. There we go. <laughs> Finally. <laughs> All righty. All right, just gonna keep doing what we did before. Just gonna keep shooting. And hope it stays there and burns up. I think I might have to fly down there. Maybe. I can seem to hit it pretty well over here though. Yeah, I'm gonna fly down over here so I can hit it a lot better. There we go. It won't attack me anyways, so might as well. The only issue is all the zombies and such, but they shouldn't be able to get me from up here. Ah, oh, they can get me from up here. Now they can't. Aha. All right, really gotta focus on the dragon. I tried to sleep a calf. <laughs> Come on, buddy. Oh no, water. I hate it. The... 
Oh no. It's in water. Um, I will assume that water leads to the surface. Oh yeah, it does. Oh dear me. Where is it? There it is. Oh dear me. Wait a second. How? Uh, it broke free. And we just got it. We just got it. Whew. Okay. We just got it. That, I did not expect that to happen. But you know what? That's fine. Then we're away from all these annoying zombies. Get out of here. Okay. Got it. Now, should I get dragon blood or scales? All right, I have decided to take the blood. I asked Atel what I should take from this dragon, uh, scales or the blood, and she said the blood. So I'm going to do that. Go oh dear, where's the zombie at? Oh, hey buddy. Hey buddy, get out of here, please. Thank you. Now, where is the hitbox of this thing? <laughs> oh, there we go. Let's just get as much as we possibly can. 11, that's not bad. That's not bad. Hopefully we will be able to get more, of course, in the future. We definitely will be if I find more layers, of course. Get out of here. Now, where on earth did I come from? It was under the ocean, wasn't it? Right there. I see the hole. Yeah. Oh, dear. That's a lot of mobs. I can't fly. I can't fly. I can't fly. Uh -huh. Hold on. Chicken. There we go. Oh, dear. <laughs> okay. But yes, I want to see if there is... Um, I need to see if there's any mending armor down there. Because if there are, I'm grabbing it right now. This was a male dragon, so the loot in these chests should be a lot, lot better than the female ones. Like that, that has mending. Ow. Alright, Feather Falling 4, I'll take that. Ooh, Frostwalker. You know what, Frostwalker isn't really that good, I don't think. Plus I have Depth Strider, I'm definitely keeping that. Looting 3, I'm definitely grabbing that. Uh, so what do we have? I have Looting 3, Mending, Mending. And then Feather Falling, so only two mending so far. But you know what, that's that's still something. I'm really happy about the looting three. I will be able to get a lot more with the bones, hopefully, if looting even helps with that. Yeah, I think that is it. It's fine, I can always come back at another time. I got some pretty good stuff. Let me just check over here, there was some more armor, except for that creeper being in the way. Uh, there was one of them. Ah, you know what, I think I'm out of here. Yeah, I think. Yep, I'm out. I'm out. Let's get out of here. Let's go home and let us breed our dragons. This is going to be very exciting, except that I don't have uh, any food on me. <laughs> uh, where did I come from? All right, let me get back to Buck Peak and let me get home and then I'll see you there. All right, we are back at the base. I have done some inventory management this is everything dragon related that we got from our trip one ice dragon two fire dragon eggs we got the scales we also got some ice dragon blood which is really cool and flesh and hearts and everything but another thing that i want to do real quickly is to be able to take the mending off of this diamond helmet and put it onto something else as well with the feather falling i have no idea how this uh this table thing is going to work so let's make it if i remember correctly this is the oh wait nope need the i think you only need two die actually so emeralds like this and then the die yes this enchantment table let's place it right here so if i do this it only takes the top one or will it do it one at a time let's test with the with the boots here so we will get a feather falling four it takes out the durability of the boots but it keeps the other enchantment. Plus it doesn't use our experience. You know what? That is actually really cool and I like how the book is upside down. Okay, so if I do this, I will get a protection three and then an unbreaking and then finally the mending book. That is super cool. So now we have two mending books. These books and this helmet is now useless to me anyway. Um, we'll need that. We'll need that and this later. Um, these two are now pretty useless to me, but I'm gonna store it in here for now until I figure out what to do with it. Anyways, let us get where is the looting sword. There we go. Looting three fire spec. This sword already has fire spec, so I don't mind it getting this. It is 13 levels, but worth it. 
I'd say it's worth it. But I actually, I just realized now that I don't think I want to do it right now. Because I'm so close to level 30. I would like to get a level 30 enchantment on my helmet, so I'm not going to do that right now. Sorry! <laughs> I just I just figured that out now. I'll do that off camera and I can show you what I have done. So yeah, that's cool. Alright, let us uh, let's go down there. Let us go down and hatch our dragon eggs. Aha! I said it right this time. Let us hatch our dragons down here. Should it be on the island? No, they can't fly, so it has to be down here. I would like, I would really like a nicer place to be able to do this. Um, actually, actually, something that we will need. We're not quite ready. <laughs> I don't want to rush this. We need the dragon flute, not the siren flute, the dragon flute and the dragon command staff. Uh, let me see here. Uh, do, 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 where is it? Dragon command staff. Uh, Dragon Command Staff. Alright. So, an Ice Skull. You only need one stake, but the other one. Okay. That's interesting. Um, but we have plenty of Fire ones, so I'm going to take one of these. And then we're make, going to make a Command Staff. This is basically the staff we use to control if they're going to sit or follow or escort or whatever. Um, and the Dragon Horn. These are used where... It's basically a backpack for where you can keep your dragon in. And... From what Atel told me, the dragon won't grow up inside of the dragon horn, so that is good as well, so I don't have three dragons growing incredibly fast. I can take it slow and steady, plus you can put them in here and uh, have them around with you and then take them out when you need them. So that is pretty cool. I'm going to do exactly that. Uh, what was the recipe again? Let me see where is it? Where did it go? Yeah, I'm going to make... Since we are got to have three dragons, I'm going to make three of those dragon horns right there there we go and of course the dragon boat flute i'm not sure what you do this what you use this for i don't remember i don't think i'll have a use for it today but just in case let me switch those around just in case um then i have it song of the dragons i don't remember what it does but just to have it just to be safe all right let's head down we the reason why I have the dragon flesh is because they're gonna have some. They're gonna need something to eat, and I don't really have a whole lot of meat around. So hopefully, the um, hopefully the run flesh will do. Now this is a much nicer environment for a baby dragon to be born in. You know what? I envision the ice dragon to be born right here. Uh, it can be sandstone. That's fine. All right. So basically, to Hatch the baby ice dragon. You need a little hole. You basically just need to place water in it. I don't even know if it has to be that big, but that's just how I'm going to do it. Let me just put this here and place that and put that there. All right. And then the the fire dragons, I'm going to put them too close to each other just in case. But I've got to put one here, and then I'm going to put one here. Um, I don't know if they need any distance from where they spawn. I don't think so. Or rather, where they're put, sorry. But uh, we're just going to go with it. Ice dragon, fire, fire dragon. Sweet. That's my first time doing this. <laughs> this is cool. Alright. That should just hatch there. Then we have this, and this, and here. You just got to take the put them on fire and you can see oh no don't burn my flower eh. it's whatever <laughs> but as you can see it is rotating down there it is moving out so I just gotta pretty much this was maybe a bad idea I just gotta stay here until they hatch so I think I'm going to actually go up a little bit and then have a time lapse of them growing so you know what, let me move this flower a little bit over here. And yeah, I'll be back once they have hatched.
Oh, look, they hatched. They hatched. Oh, they're so cute. Here, here, eat. Better eat. There you go. Hey, buddy. <laughs> Don't wander off now. Don't wander off. Oh, that's so cute. <laughs> it's a good thing they, eat, they ate to run flesh, otherwise I'm not sure what I would have done. <laughs> hey, guys. Let me take off my wings here. Oh, they're so cute. Look at them. Okay, you, you can get off now. Uh, how do I control you? Uh, staying? Staying. Yay! Dragons! They're so cute. <laughs> oh, it's sleeping. <laughs> I just... Oh! Oh! Oh, this one! This one! Hey, buddy! Stay! Ah, oh, It's a white one with aqua eyes. I love it. <laughs> Look at this one. Oh, it's so cute. It's going to sleep. Same with the red one. Oh, I'm so happy. <laughs> I'm so happy. About how this turned out. I am so happy. That is so amazing. So, guys, guess what time it is. Alright, now it's sleeping too. I need a name. I need a name for these guys. Leave me your suggestions down below. Please let me know what you think we should call these guys. White, red and brown. Or bronze, rather. What should we name them? You should be able to have some more. <laughs> Question is, can I fly with them? Oh yeah, I can. Okay, <laughs> that's a little bit uh, dangerous. <laughs> but I gotta get him up here. No, no, that's creepers. How about we don't do that? How about the game doesn't lag right now? There we go. All right, let's get into the base. Hopefully they won't suffocate from the... Nope, they won't. All right, all right. All right, get in here. All right. Let's base them out a little bit at least. <laughs> oh, they're so cute. I hope they won't hurt my hamsters uh better not be eating hamsters get up here you there you go get down there oh they're so cute <laughs> i'm so happy i should be able to ah here we go so unnamed we definitely need to give these guys a name so leave your suggestions down below in the comments oh yeah i didn't check that gender this is a female conquer stage one wait they're all females female Female, wait, male. It doesn't have any spots on its wings, does it? I guess that's a texture glitch. Or it is my share pack. Let me try and turn it off real quick. Does it have spots? No? Huh. I guess it's just a texture bug, bug maybe. Okay, I just reloaded the game, but I still don't see any spots so that's weird i don't know what's going on but anyways this is a male dragon so we have a a male ice dragon and we have a female bronze fire dragon and a female red fire dragon that is so cool i'm so happy that we're now at this stage two episode two what's two episodes two or three episodes ago i had nothing i was walking around with rusty iron armor with no base other than the hidey hole down there and uh yeah now we have we have three dragons in our base this is so cool <laughs> but yes it is naming time leave your thoughts down below in the comments i would love to hear suggestions because i stink at names all right i stink at them so you you guys gotta help me out here but anyways that is finally gonna do it for this episode i don't know should we take them upstairs to the hamsters hopefully they won't eat them I don't think they should. I, I want them in the bedroom. I want them in the bedroom. All right. Get up here, buddies. Sorry to wake you guys up. They might be sleeping, actually, while they're up here. I don't know. And spread them out a little bit. <laughs> the hamster's like, what are you? What are you doing, human? <laughs> they're flesh eaters. <laughs> ah, they're so cute. Anyways, guys, that's going to do it for this episode. I really hope you enjoyed. If you did, be sure to leave a like and subscribe if you think this video ended. It helps the channel grow a lot. And uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed. And I hope to see you next time. Actually, he seems excited. He looks excited about some new friends. Uh, they're going to grow up fast, aren't they? I might lose these, these horns, but not now. Now they're just going to sleep. But anyways, guys, that's gonna do it for this one. Hope you enjoyed. Discord server, um, Twitch, Twitter, Patreon, all that good stuff is down below in the description. So go check it out if you're interested. But hope you enjoyed, and I hope to see you next time. Have a wonderful day. Goodbye. <laughs>